Page 81. The table lamp casts an amber glow across the brother's uh, bedroom wall. And you know his uh, bedroom wall was uh, full of pictures of footballers. There was a picture of Cassie also who has been described as a young Irish man with exceptional qualities. Sophie told her brother another secret of her but on a condition that he would not tell this to her dad. His brother did not want to believe her but listened to her because of undue stress. And um, you know, uh, he, ha he didn't trust her. He wanted to believe her because he knew that maybe she's making up some stories. Because, But he was a like, big fan of Danny Cassie. That drew a little bit interest. She also asked, um, uh, she told him like that when she met him, it was she who started the conversation by asking whether he was a Danny Cassie. She also asked for an autograph, but little Derek, both as both uh, as both of them, did not have a pen of or paper. He promised to give it in the next meeting. Her brother did not believe this, as he was doubtful of what she was seeing. So he picked up his jacket and left. Sophie wondered if her brother did not care about his looks much, though he should be doing so because uh, he was tall and handsome. Um, she she, uh, she thinks that her uh, brother is quite good looking and he should take care of how he presents himself, how he looks. But she thinks that he hardly cares about his looks and he's not bothered about his, uh, the way he goes out, the way he presents himself to the people. On Saturday, they made their weekly pilgrimage. On Saturday, Sophie, her father, her two brothers went to uh, see the football match of their favorite team, United. See, children, there's a word used here, pilgrimage. That means they were such a huge fans. They considered it as important as religious ritual to be there uh, to watch a game of football. It was a regular thing for them because they were all huge fans of football. Sophie, Derek and her father stayed near the goal and Jeff went up higher with his friends to see the match. Team United won the match with a score of 2-0. The second goal was made by Cassie and he did it with such a perfection. Everyone was happy. They were so delighted and happy about it. Sophie's father went uh, to the pub after match and so he brought her brother Derek so she brought her brother Derek back home Derek told his mother that this time Ireland will win the world cup Sophie was inquired by Jancy as to what was she telling everyone? Sophie surprisingly asked her the reason for asking her this question. Then she told her, her brother Jeff told Jancy's brother Frank that Sophie had met Danny Cassie. Sophie got angry. She was so annoyed. She actually shared the secret with her brother. She didn't want him to disclose it. She was worried because Jancy had the habit of sharing secrets with whole neighborhood, which she did not want to happen. Sophie got angry with Jeff's behavior. She was so annoyed. Now, uh, Sophie explained to Jancy that there was, this was her secret and she did not want to share it because then people would line up outside their house, ask about her, her dad would kill her on this. Jancy got surprised to hear this. She said she thought that her father would be happy to hear this. But Sophie told her that it was not so. The continuous noise of neighbors could disturb her mother too. And she realized that Jancy was not aware of each and everything. So she felt happy that her brother did keep some part of it as a secret. She then told her that she had met him, asked for an autograph but could not get it because of lack of pen and paper. She even tells Jancy that her dad did not believe her. Jancy promised her to keep her secret. After the dark, she walked by the can. And after it was dark, Sophie went 
through a sheltered path along waterway and it was far away from the noisy city she used to play here as a child she sat on a wooden bench which was under a log elm tree according to her it was perfect place for lovers to meet she sa- sat there and started waiting for cassie she got lost in Im- imagination of cassie coming to meet her after a while she realized that he was not coming it was just her imagination